Welcome to Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts. We've got some coverage of the Pro Series Championships. This is the final event of the 2013-2014 season. And what you're looking at here is the first string of a two-string match between Sean Baker and Jim Putney. This is the final match of this event. Two-string match that will determine the winner of the Pro Series Championship tournament for this year. Sean Baker begins with a six drop and he's got takes a look at this split to see what he can do with the wood. And nice shot by Sean Baker for the spare. Take a look at this. He hits right about on the red line and that wood spins to the right and goes all the way to the sidewall. Takes out the 10 pin. So that's a spare to begin for Sean Baker. Sean, as you probably know, is... Uh, one, and there's a strike in the second box. Solid 1-3 pocket hit. So Sean Baker is off to a flying start right here in the Pro Series playoffs final match. Sean bowls out a lucky strike lanes in Lynn. He also bowls for their team in the World's Invitational Tournament. Here's Jim Putney, who is probably no stranger to anybody that's followed canopy bowling over the last 20 or 25 years. He's uh, had a lot of success on the Pro Tours and uh, also on TV, he had many, many appearances on the Channel 5 show, including a pretty long winning streak one year that um, I think you can find most of those on video at this point. Jim is also on the Senior Tour, although he I don't think he bowled on the Senior Tour this year, but he has at times. And Jim Putney begins with a 10 box on lane 16. Now he moves over to lane 15 here at Pilgrim. Nice one three pocket hit, but he doesn't have much to look at there. That's, he's got the five, eight, nine, and 10. Piece of wood up against the five and eight that I'm sure he's gonna try and use. He, he might be able to make this, uh, make it sweep all the way over to get the 9 and 10. And it gets the 10, but it doesn't take the 9. So Jim will be open again in the second box. Jim bowls, as you can see on his shirt, he bowls out of 20th century lanes in, the, uh, in Hyde Park otherwise known as Ice Cream Alleys. That's in the Friday Night Pro League. Wow, look at that. You can't stuff the ball in the 1-3 pocket any better than Sean Baker just did. But he's left with a 7-8, no wood. Well, he's got that piece of, oh, and you're right, but it's not gonna be usable. And uh, working on a strike, he just goes for the count. So he puts a nine fill on the strike and a 10 in the box but that was a, just a great pocket hit he really was expecting to have a double strike up there instead it's a uh, 10 box and he has 49 through the third and he stays on the head pin in the fourth as you can see but he has a tough leave two five and eight and a piece of wood that's almost parallel to the lane next to the two pin and he hits the cap, doesn't get anything. He was probably trying to go a little bit to the left left side of that cap and just push it back into the two and have it take the five and eight. But that was a tough shot. Jim Putney in the third frame. Jim made his way to the finals with a... Uh, a win over yours truly in the semis. He really uh, put some hurt on me in that match. He's been really hot all day. 
and I had I had a good day, but Jim put an end to it in the uh, in the semis to arrive at this final against Sean Baker. Let's see what Jim can do with this three, five, six, ten. He doesn't get the uh, object pin, so he's still got the three, six, ten. So he'll be going for his third consecutive ten box. And he's got it. 30 through the third for Jim Putney. See what he can do over on lane 15. Over on the left side of the house, the uh, Massachusetts State Youth uh, youth state tournament is going on at the same time and there's a strike by Jim Putney he gets on the board in the fourth frame you can see this kind of a high slightly high of high flush one three pocket hit trips the four off the wall so that is going to uh, well you take a look at the scoreboard and you can see um, Sean Baker has a lead of 58 to 40, but Jim Putney will be able to cut into that when he uh, returns to fill that strike. Sean hits the head pin again. He's uh, He's been right on it. A little bit full this time, but he gets breaks down that split. So he's got the 2-4-7. And he just misses the 2. He was uh, trying to urge the ball to uh, just fade a little bit to the right and catch the 2 pin. But he'll be open in the uh, fifth nine box. He has uh, 67 half. Pretty good half right there. Half Worcester left in the sixth. He punches uh, the two pin straight back. So he'll be trying to work that out. Now that's tough. That's a, a good second ball, but a little bit too full on the head pin, so he still has five pins remaining. Piece of wood, see if he can make an out with it. And that's a good out. That's a nine box for Sean Baker. 76 through the sixth. So Jim Putney is working on the strike in the fourth. He's got 40 plus the strike fill to 58 for, for Sean Baker. So he will be cutting into that lead. Good ball right there. Eight drop, leaving the three and five. And I think he has a piece of wood in between that should prevent him from chopping the three if he should hit it too full. Make it a little bit easier to make this two pinner. And he's got it. He didn't need the wood. That would have converted the ball, would have taken both pins anyway. So that's reduces the lead to uh, seven pins actually through five and Jim Putney can cut into that with whatever he gets here and that is going to be a seven drop so it's a tie game through five at 67 Jim is going up against the nine that Sean Baker had in the sixth trying to make See if he can use that wood to kick the five into the seven. Five, seven, nine. And he's got it. Three marks in a row for Jim Putney. And he takes a lead by one pin. There's another look at the spare. So he leads, Jim Putney leads by one pin plus the fill when he gets back up. Sean Baker, nice ball in the in the one-two pocket. Drops nine. See if he can zero in on this. 7 pin. And he'll do it. Just uh, got enough of it to, uh, to take it out. Spare in the 7th for Sean Baker. 86 plus the fill. Good ball. And that's, that's just the opposite of the uh, that sort of sideways tri uh, side saddle triangle as Don Gillis used to call it and again he, he doesn't have the wood here but it's a tough lead nonetheless the 359 tough to get that 9 pin 
and he was probably going for the right side of the uh, three pin. That'll be a nine. Sean will have 102 through the eighth. Jim Putney with 77 plus the fill to complete the sixth box. And that'll be a nine fill. Give Jim 86. That's a 10 pin lead through the sixth. And he will have this two pin for And he's got it. So that is four consecutive marks. Jim has pretty much been on fire all day and he has continued so far in this string. After Sean Baker got off to that strong start in the first two, Jim picked it up in the fourth frame and he's got eight on the spare. He's looking at the six and seven several pieces of wood. I think there were three of them. Probably a couple of different ways you could play this. You could either go way right, catch the right end of that wood to the in front of the six pin, or maybe go high. He's got it. He, he hit the cap. It, it's, let's uh, look at the replay. He hits the cap and the ball actually goes over and takes the seven. I don't know if that's what he was trying to do, but it might well have been. So that is five marks in a row. A strike and four spares for Jim Putney. Sean Baker, right back on the head pin in the ninth, but he punches through the middle, leaves a big five. And he might have been trying to kick that uh, two and four off the wall, possibly even utilizing the wood in the gutter. Sean is one of the uh, foremost exponents of, of reading wood in the game. He seems to be almost never see him misread a shot. But nonetheless, he was open in the ninth with an eight box, one tenth through the ninth. And a nice bid on that four drop. Just a little bit too much of the head pin, so he will be open in the tenth. And it'll be a nine box. So Sean starts with a 119. He will be trailing Jim Putney probably considerably after one string, but there is uh, another string to go. So plenty of time to, to make up the deficit. This Pro Series playoffs are always two string matches. And that's kind of uh, gives you time to settle in a little bit more. Jim Putney. Nine drop in the uh, in the ninth, so he has 123 through eight and a 21 pin lead over Sean Baker, and he is looking for his sixth mark in a row, and he is all over that 10 pin. Jim Putney now has 133 plus the fill through the ninth. Six drop there, 139 through through nine. A little bit full on the head pin. And sort of push the head pin in between the two and five back to take the eight. So he's got two, four, five, and seven. Certainly a makeable spare to try and make it seven marks in a row. Good try by Jim, but just a little bit full on the two pin. So he will be open in the tenth, but nonetheless he will have a considerable lead over Sean Baker after one string. And we'll show you the scoreboard as soon as Jim finishes the 10th box. And it'll be an 8. He looks a little disappointed with what that wood did for him. But anyway, Jim Putney, as you can see, with a 28-pin lead through one string of this two-string match in the Pro Series Championships. Jim Putney leads one 
47 to 119 over Sean Baker. And we will be back with the second string shortly. <laughs> 